people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and today is the day we finally got the official look at the Curse of Dreadbear Funko Ween merchandise. And shockingly, remember that leak that we've been talking about for months at this point? You know, this one that said we'll get action figures for Dreadbear, Glitchtrap, Grim Foxy, Jack O'Bonny, and also plushies for Dreadbear, Grim Foxy, Jack O'Chica, and Jack O'Bonny. Well, god damn it, that was exactly correct. Of course, we also did get Captain Foxy, but we'll get to him in a little bit. So yeah, today was finally the day. This is the official tweet by Funko revealing the brand new products. As you can see, again, you have action figures for Glitchtrap, Grim Foxy, Jack O'Bonny, Dreadbear, and also the Walmart exclusive Captain Foxy, who was not on the list of leaks for the event. But as we speculated, he was in the teaser that Funko tweeted out a little bit before the event. I'll get to my opinions on them in a little bit, but first I want to show you the plushies. You got Grim Foxy, Jack Jacko Bonnie, Jacko Chica, Dreadbear, and again, a Walmart exclusive Captain Foxy. And here's a higher resolution look at the action figures. Also, their box art. Let me just say, I freaking love their box art. I feel like Funko's doing such an amazing job with the box art recently. I feel like ever since the Easter event with, um with all these dudes. You know, with all the Easter eggs and the bright colors, they, they've been killing the box art game. And this is no exception. I mean, you got Curse of Dreadbear FNAF at the top. You have pumpkins from Curse of Dreadbear next to the name. And then in the background, you have this amazing artwork of the Curse of Dreadbear, you know, DLC. It, it looks amazing. Here's a look at Dreadbear, Grim Foxy, spelt with one M, which grammatically is correct, but no one cares about that. His name has two M's, okay? You can't be messing that up. And then Glitchtrap. And then you have Captain Foxy, who yet again is exclusive to Walmart. And then here are the plushies, and you can see the tags on the plushies. It looks like it has kind of the same aesthetic. You have the artwork with the jack-o'-lanterns uh, in, the, in the foreground. And of course, you have FNAF Curse of Dreadbear. So that's Chica, that's jack o Bond. Bonnie, that's Dreadbear, and that is Grim Foxy. And then again, the Walmart exclusive Captain Foxy plushie. Alright, so now let's move on to what I think about the new products. I have been very vocal about this on Twitter. I freaking love these things. I know there are people out there who are like, oh, I don't really like how Jack O'Bonnie's plushie looks. But in my opinion, these are some of the best products that Funko have released. They're super accurate to how they look in game, and while yes, some of them have slight color changes, I'll get to that in a little bit. And Glitchtrap does look a little bit weird with his joints, but he's an action figure, he has to look like that. The way they made his ears go out to the side, like how they look like in game, oh, dude, they look so accurate. Grim Foxy looks insane. Dread Bear is probably the most accurate figure they've ever released. And Jack O'Bonnie, again, looks equally as amazing. Which, to be fair, you can't really mess up Jack O'Bonnie because he is just a recolor of Nightmare uh, Bonnie, who does already have an action figure, so you know, you can't mess it up. Now, there's no Jacko Chica action figure in this wave because there's already a Jacko Chica action figure. Again, these action figures look absolutely insane. I freaking love them to death. They are by far some of my favorite action figures they've actually ever released. They look so good. Spot on, game accurate. It just, you know, the paint job is incredible. And yeah, you could nitpick a few things like how Glitchtrap doesn't have stars on his vest, but honestly, the overall aesthetic of them, the look of them, you know, it cancels all that nitpicking out. And Captain Foxy too, I mean, it's just insane. They ripped him right from the game. These look insane. I've already pre-ordered everything and they should be arriving. It says August, but also the Walmart exclusive arrive in um in October. So hopefully I can get the non-exclusives in August, make a video on them. And then in October, I'll do a review on the Walmart exclusives. Moving on to the plushies, I've seen a lot of backlash on these things, saying that they look bad, but honestly, I disagree. Yeah, I can see where people are coming from, especially on Jack O'Bonnie, but I still find these guys to be absolutely adorable. It does look like there's some printed on color, which I'm not a big fan of at all. But at the same time, look at Jack Chica's feet. They look, they look soft. And I'm not trying to look at her toes. Guys, don't make it weird, okay? I just, I just, I like these plushies. Don't make it weird. I like her eyes. I like the mouth. Some of the withering on these plushies are kind of not the best. I think that's very apparent with the Jack O'Bonnie plushie, but I don't think it looks that bad. I don't think these are the worst plushies that they've ever released. I think they still look very good. Dreadbear has a very interesting uh, facial expression, but like they got his um, screws, his 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 nuts, his bolts on the side of his neck, you know, they have the, the withering on the stomach, his bow tie. They even cut out a bit of his ear. And Grim Foxy, I know a lot of people don't like the Grim Foxy plushie, but I think it looks adorable. They even gave him a a hook. 
they gave him his sickle. And they even put it on the Captain Foxy plushie, which again, I think looks absolutely amazing. So I wonder if they're gonna do this for all of the Foxies. Doing it for Grim Foxy, I understand, because again, he has a gigantic sickle. But for Captain Foxy, he doesn't have that. And you can also see it's rotated the other way. So I don't know, man. I think it looks cute. I think all these plushies look adorable. I think the action figures are spot on. Also, here's a look at the plushies uh, IRL. The benefit of uploading this video late into the day, I'm sorry for uploading it so late, is that I got to watch this live stream and they made a statement saying uh, that the the colors for the merchandise is not finalized yet and they also did a pretty good job of showing off the the plushies themselves unfortunately they had no action figures to show off but again those are the plushies so all in all i freaking love this wave i cannot wait i freaking love it i've seen a few people hate on it specifically the plushies and also some of the uh the coloring on the action figures but i don't think it's such a big deal i think they look close enough to their counterparts in game that it kind of for me at least, kind of, you know, I don't care so much about the small nitpicks. But yeah, that is the new Curse of Dreadbear wave presented by Funko releasing, again, in August or October. I don't know, the release date's kind of weird. So that's that. I'll see you guys later today with the brand new FNAF era skin, which again, appears to be some sort of seaweed, mossy, mucky, toy bonnie skin. So yeah, I'll see you guys later tonight. Thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new, make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.